Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Mackenzie. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and stick around. Today, I'm starting a short and sweet vlog here in Florence. I have been so incredibly busy during this study abroad season of life. I feel like I've hardly had the chance to talk to you guys. I know I've been vlogging like every single trip, but because I've just been kind of behind on editing and haven't been getting things up in live time as well as I would like to, I just feel a little disconnected so my apologies please know that I'm thinking of you guys and I appreciate all of your love and support Instagram has been pretty much the only platform that I've been able to like kind of update you guys in day-to-day -day time so if you're not following me over there style by McKenz make sure to go ahead and do so anyways it is currently Monday morning I got back from Paris late last night at like midnight showered went to bed and woke up this morning and am ready for a full day of class after that jules is actually coming here to florence so it's going to be kind of a chaotic week um she is staying in florence tonight so we're going to go to dinner i'm going to show her around get some gelato and head over to her hotel she's staying along the river and then tomorrow i am going on a day trip with my fashion class to siena i'm super excited that's actually where my mom studied abroad and then we are leaving for Mykonos tomorrow night. We have a little bit of a red eye situation. We are working with a hotel Wednesday through Sunday and I'm so excited. Mykonos was like one of my top destinations so I'm really looking forward to that. Usually I would leave on Thursday after class but Wednesday and Thursday we actually don't have class this week because it's like a midterm orientation kind of period so we're making the most of it. We're gonna be on the move, gonna be on a trip. So it's gonna be crazy. So anyways, here's what I'm wearing today. I know it's October, but it's still 80 degrees. So I'm taking advantage. My tank top is from Princess Polly. And then I'm wearing jeans from Express. These are actually jeans that were mine that I gave to Lauren. And I'm just gonna wear them today because I don't have any that are clean. So these are from Express. Sandals are from Franco Sarto, same jewelry as usual, and then this necklace is from Goriana. And then excuse my natural hair, I'm waiting for it to finish air drying and then I'll style it later, but let's go to class. Well, we have today in Florence and then tomorrow we'll be in Siena, so no need to get groceries. Lauren found this cute little sandwich shop that has, what Lauren, $4 sandwiches? Yeah, $4 sandwiches. And 270 reviews and 4.9 stars. Yeah. So we are heading out and exploring to go get a bite to eat in between our next classes. Why do you want to All right, we found it. It's called La Nicieta. And they've got 25 different sandwiches. Okay, Lauren and I got the 23, which is spicy salami and goat cheese. I do wish that they had like a little more toppings on it. You know, like hers has arugula. But and ham, but it's just like the prosciutto. Four euros, but you need to ask for it hot if you want it hot, because they give it to you. Look cold. what Lauren got in the mail. I'm so she got excited. the like Sherpa Lulu fanny pack. Oh my gosh! I so love cute. It. Is that the same? And she bought this from the European one. So I don't yeah, know they if they have out. them in. Yeah, they probably don't have them in stock in America. They're always going in and out. But if you're studying abroad, you can get one. I love that it's like this on the other side too. Yeah. I think it was 48. So cute. So it was more expensive than the other one, but. All right, ladies and gents, I must do my laundry during lunch today. I actually did one load right before we left my whites and now I need to throw my darks in. Okay, 
I am a little behind on blog posts because on my trip to Paris, I was supposed to be writing my Amalfi travel guide and I ended up falling asleep because I was exhausted. So I'm sitting down to write that now and I'm hoping to get this up before I need to leave for my afternoon class. <laughs> Finishing up my travel guide for the Amalfi Coast. Again, I was hoping to get this up last week, but no biggie, just making the most of it. I'm sharing where we stayed, our day in Capri, our day in Positano, our day in Pompeii, just overall an incredible trip. I've been taking so many photos and just honestly loving them all. So I was really excited to share these and kind of round up this trip. If you are thinking about going to Amalfi, this was an incredible way to do so. Like literally cannot say enough good things. So super, super fun. It was a long one, but there was a lot of information. So yeah. I'm walking back to the fashion school for my luxury market class. Class outside today. A long time no see. We literally left each other not even 24 hours ago. And Jules has made it to Florence. So she's Woo. staying here tonight. And then tomorrow we're taking the red eye. And I'm gonna give her a little school tour. Oh my God, Back to excited. school. Okay, she goes, this is so cool that Kent's like actually a campus. So a lot of people have like a study abroad program here. And we don't. We have like our own campus. campus. So let's you. buzz you in. So cool. Wow. This is legit. I know. Okay, so this is the first floor. And to the left, this is where you have to sign in. Right. And then that's where my Italian class is. And I have it on Mondays and Wednesdays. Okay. Then in here, look up at the ceilings. Oh my gosh, beautiful. I know, okay, and then this is where the courtyard is. And sometimes I sit in here in between classes because I have that weird long break. But this is also where my luxury market class is that I was just in. Outside? We just sit outside unless it's raining. Oh my God, it's so nice. And then we go inside. Wow. I know. Love that. Wow, okay. <laughs> then over here are like more classrooms for kind of like the architecture students and some of the business students i don't have classes down here but there's like a couple more classrooms back there and then i think this is where the coffee is that olivia and them get the coffee yes there's like this little coffee machine and you can get like 50 cent coffee I have heard that this is actually good. And it's like just a shot of espresso and they get it every single day and they say that it's like the, some of the best coffee they can get. Wow. But it's like random. This is like the break room. <laughs> okay. So fun. You guys are getting the tour while we're at it. In case you guys are studying abroad, this is what campus is going to look like. Not really. Okay. Now we're back at the front where you sign in. This is also where you get your mail. So usually this whole thing is like full of crap for me Shut yep up. your PR comes here yes <laughs> okay then up 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 That's the awesome. stairs I thought we would come like I'm not wait this is where you live too no okay welcome to Florence Palazzo Vittori I show these stairs like every day like they're used to seeing this and then if you look up it's really pretty oh, wow. okay so there's a couple of like main classrooms up here this is like our main lecture hall over here to the right. And this is where I have Italian fashion. Ooh. And it's where I have my European study tour class. Oh, there's a class in there right now. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Then over here. This is where I have my fashion media class oh, fun. so the classrooms are like different than they are in America you know it's like a C yeah yeah okay and then there's a couple more classrooms I don't know who's in there guys Jules is gonna have like a total moment okay and then I never come up here because I don't have any classes up here but this is where all the fashion design courses are so Sophia if you're watching this this is where you're gonna spend all your time next semester 
My little is a design major, in case you guys didn't know, and so is my fourth roommate, Lizzie, which is why you never see her, because she literally lives in this building. But these are all design studios up here. Let's see, look. She has the patterns. Sewing machines. So cool. People working on their projects. These are like previous students that went to Kent's work. Anybody we know? Anyways, all right, and then there's more classrooms on this side, but this is for the architecture students, I believe, and no one's here. So yeah, that's campus. It's really small, but there's like 150 students here. Okay. Now that Jules has seen the school, we're walking towards my house and I'm gonna take her to my favorite gelato place that I visit like literally seven times a week and get a little sweet treat and after school snack. <laughs> literally the weather is showing up and showing out for Jules. Like it has not been this nice in Florence in weeks. It's like perfect out. Yay! Oh, this camera this yeah. is my friend from home. Oh, Hi, no. she's no. visiting. No. Okay. It's very good. Good. Wow. So I'll do fragola, lemon, and uva. And uva. Uh huh. Okay. Oh, you need the uva today. Yep. I'm gonna switch it up, guys. <laughs> Grazie! <laughs> okay, Jules got coconut and coffee. And I got oh, strawberry, lemon, and grape. Mm. So now I'm taking Jules towards the river, which is also where her hotel is. And I'm taking her by a few of our stomping grounds. I never am over here in the middle of the day. It's so pretty, but I'm showing her Lions, which is the popular study abroad bar, as you guys know. Maybe I'll get convince her to take a shot while we're here. Here's Jules College right here guys. You want to sign this shirt? Uh, oh my god, there's so many. <laughs> and washed up study abroad girl right here. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna do a college shot. Yeah, we're gonna get Jules a Maris. Wait, are we gonna get you a Maris or are we gonna get you a uh, LaSalle? They don't have it. Yeah, they do. LaSalle. That's not my school. I know, but this is how it is here. Like, everyone goes to your LaSalle. Lemoncello, really? vodka, and blue. Yeah, Ooh, no, that I'm sounds a Maris good. Girl. She's a Maris girl. <laughs> vodka. I only transferred because of my ex boyfriend. Was... <laughs> <laughs> All right, and then mine is lemon, vodka, gin, and OJ. Okay, here's Jules' shot, and here's mine. Ready? Cheers! Cheers, college! <laughs> Hotel, Hotel Principe, which means princess. We think, we think. <laughs> this could not be a more Jules room. <laughs> Literally everything pink. The zebra chairs. Wow. So chic. Oh my god, look at the little coffee maker. I know, I had a coffee, it was really good. So cute. Behind the scenes of our princess shoot. Anything for a free hotel. Oh, we're done playing princess. <laughs> it's weird that it feels right though. Yeah, like, it, like really, I was looking at the pictures, I was like, wow, that's really cute. I'd post that today and then I'm like, wait, I'm wearing a flipping crown on my head. But they look cute. I'm so dead. we're gonna change out of our pink dresses and we're about to go eat some dinner. We're trying a new place tonight. To me, I've been really wanting to go. Olivia and Lauren went the first night that they were here when I was still flying here and they said it was amazing and that Jules would like it so we're gonna go iconic yay insert Halloween picture here <laughs> I'm excited we never I never have Halloween content since I was like Jules goes Ugh, Halloween age. content and then she's like wait <laughs> I love this so what? now I'm excited because we got good shots woo yay. 
Look at that sun. So the dinner spot we originally tried to come to was fully booked. So we came to this place instead and it's so cute in here. Table for two, please. Except actually Lauren's coming to meet us for a drink. Oh my god, look at the look at the kitchen is pink back there. You can see them cooking. Stop it. Okay, so after a week in France with Jules eating the best bread, I'm really curious to see how this bread is going to be because it doesn't look like traditional Tuscan bread. So we'll see. It's trendy. Yeah, it is definitely trendy. And the bread's normal. It's good. I got a limoncello spritz. I've been on a big limoncello spritz grind. I'm not an Aperol girl, but limoncello is like really sweet, but it's good. Jules, what'd you get? Um, I got the passion fruit tequila margarita. It's a little bitter. Oh. And Lauren got roses. Cheers, Cheers lady. Cheers. Pretend that the construction is not there. We made it over to the Duomo. We're at spot number two. Another lemon shell spritz for me. Wine for Jules. And a mint mojito for Lauren. She always gets these. It reminds me of my aunt. She used to always get them. entirely too late to be up at 7 a.m. for this field trip but guess what the show must go on and that's what life's all about when I was a kid my dad used to always say I'd rather be tired on someone else's time so that's what we're doing today um and we're getting ready to walk over to the bus station to go to Siena today we've got like similar to our trip to Venice like we have like a couple of like scheduled things and then we have some free time around lunch to explore and eat and then we'll be back here at 5 p.m and then i have to like literally pack and shower eat and then head over to the train station because my train leaves at 10 tonight so gonna be a very busy day but we're gonna make it happen an hour and a half bus ride later we made it to sienna and we've got a loaded schedule to start off the day three little visits with our little walking things and then we have like three hours of free time to explore i'm really excited because this is where my mom lived so it should be fun also didn't show you my outfit this morning little sweater tank jeans xena sneakers and my pauline purse the white one so Lovia and i just said isn't it so crazy that like we're walking in the same place that my mom used to walk and when you put that into perspective that one day our kids could walk in florence and be like mom used like, to walk these same streets and do this and visit the same places like it's so cool like that we're doing all this but like to put in like perspective of like us like one day like actually could have like kids and do the same thing like that just seems like full circle like an eternity away. feels like so that. far also my camera guys i'm like been vlogging on my old camera since i got here and the screw fell out of my screen so my screen is literally hanging on by a thread. Like, it's about to fall off. So hopefully this footage turns out okay still. I 
told you guys that we have free time later in the day, but we do have like three scheduled things to do with our class. So the first thing that we're doing is going inside of the building that I just showed you. I can't pronounce it, but that is the name of it. It's like the most popular cathedral here in Siena. It's like their main one. And I believe this is Gothic style, which was really rare for Italy at the time. And it's so insane. I'm gonna just show you guys a bunch of footage that's gonna be a ton of views. So enjoy the little compilation. Tradition in Catholic Church to light a candle for someone that you've lost. So, Augie, this is for you. Guys, I called my mom because I wanted to know where she went to school and it's that right there, that second one in on the right. Wow. It, like we walked outside, I was like, what's your address? We were just inside of this building right here. Over here on the white, at the very end, go, go, go to the very end of that section of buildings around the campo. It's called Campo, okay? Right there where the white buildings, kind of like the uh -huh. water color with the awning, that used to have a great little snack place over there. Wow. Right on, right on the corner. And then if you go down the street behind the tower, okay? That's where the little Italian restaurant was that we used to always go to that was fabulous. <laughs> and um, you would get to fill your bottle of wine for like a buck or two. So we should go to lunch over there? You should try. <laughs> Okay, I'm getting this. We're all eating. Look at Liv's food, looks so good. This little ravioli, ravioli with bacon. And then Lauren cut up her pasta, oh, which you guys so are gonna comment soup. about. <laughs> Why? <laughs> because you're not supposed to cut your pasta, but we do it in America. I need little bites. <laughs> but anyways, these are apparently the noodles that they're known for here Very in soup. Siena. And then this is <laughs> Jess's tomato soup. Like it looks interesting, it but it looks good. So it's, it's so good. The cheese looks amazing on yeah. top of it. Okay, I got the pecorino. This is like my first time having white pasta here. I'm excited. Sweet treat time. Is it good? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The chocolate is like a creamy texture and the raspberry is like a moussey texture. Killer combo. Whoever messaged me and like suggested that I start doing this, I think of you every day. Hi Sienna! We're spending our free time taking photos. Lauren took a really cool one that makes me look like I'm floating. I'll insert it here. Okay. 
short and sweet day to ride. It's 3.30 p.m. and we are hopping back on the bus. We've got like an hour and a half. Ciao bellas, we are home. I just drafted out some Instagram posts on the bus and now I need to fold my laundry, which I did yesterday morning. It's finally dry. And I've got a lot of things that need to be done in the next few hours. Jules and I are walking over to the train station at 9.45 p.m. It's currently 5.45. And I need to paint my nails. I need to shower. I'm going to take off all my makeup and just wear something comfy to the train station. Because we are taking a train tonight, the last train of the day, to Milan. We'll get to Milan around... 12:30, and we are taking the tram from the train station to the Milan airport and then we are flying out of Milan on the first flight tomorrow morning so we have kind of like a four and a half ish hour layover it feels like so first flight of the day Milan to Mykonos and then we'll be in Mykonos at our hotel tomorrow at like 8 a.m. so I'm really excited but lots to be done like I said I need to paint my nails I need to shower I'm gonna do my laundry right now and I need to pack. We're gonna grab some dinner. I'm going to charge everything up, get a blog post going, and then we're gonna be on our way. I'm packing for Greece right now, and I'm technically only allowed like a small personal item, which I believe means like a long champ size tote. But we are going to push our luck and use my little Vera Bradley tote. It's smaller than a duffel bag, but it's definitely bigger than the tote. It fits a lot. I've done a couple of weekend trips in this so far, and it's kind of nice because if I need to bring my computer, I can fit my laptop, my toiletries, like kind of my purse contents and my clothes. So that's what we are going to attempt to use today. And then just fingers crossed, no one says anything to me and it fits under the seat. But here is what I'm going to bring for my five days in Greece. So obviously I'm going with Jules, so we're going to have a little bit more time to shoot some content, which is why I have more things than you probably are um, expecting. So I got this like little green set that I've been dying to shoot. I plan on bringing this with. I'm super excited about it. And then I've got just a bunch of dresses. So I've got this like little nude one. It ties in the front, super cute. I got this blue one from Opali. And then I have this little two piece set from them as well. It's a skirt and then like a top that ties in the front. It's really, really cute. And then I've got this white little baby dress that kind of reminds me of the Zara one. That's from Beginning Boutique. And then I have just like a white little tank top that ties in the front. It's supposed to be a little chilly, I'm not going to lie. So I'm bringing this like little crochet sweater that everyone's obsessed with. It's actually from Walmart. My white linen button up that I wear literally everywhere I wore it today. It's from Shein. And then I have this dress right here that Jules and I have matching ones. So we're going to take a photo. So like kind of two outfits for each day. I'm not really sure if it's going to be warm enough to swim or not. It's supposed to be very windy, so fingers crossed that that holds off for a majority of the day. We can still lay out at the pool and stuff like that. I know I'm going to be shooting some pool content for the property. So for that, I usually like to have a basic, like, either black or white bathing suit. So I've got a black bikini, and then I've got this one piece that actually Lauren's worn one day and Olivia's worn one day. It's mine from Cupshe, and I have yet to wear it, so I'm going to bring that with. And then I've got a couple of other suits that have just been sitting here waiting to be worn, so I'm going to bring those. Obviously, need to bring socks, underwear, um, and like a little bralette. I've been using like my little Samsonite packing cubes. I don't know if they sell these separately, but I'm, I've never been a packing cube girl, but I use them all the time here because I haven't really been traveling in a suitcase. I used a suitcase for Paris because I had a bag available, but typically for like our other trips, like to Venice, I just packed in my long champ. For Croatia, I packed in this bag. And when I have like purse contents and stuff in it, it's just easier to have things in the cubes. So if they have these separately, I'll link them. And then I'll also link this bag in case you guys are interested. But they've been really nice to just kind of keep everything in one spot. And then I also need to just kind of grab my toiletries. I'm thinking about bringing a pair of jeans. I'm kind of torn. I think I might bring the ones that I'm wearing right now. And if I can fit my blue salt wrap, I would really like to bring it. I pretty much bring this everywhere. It like doubles as like, sometimes I roll it into a neck pillow. Sometimes I like fold it up and like smush it against the thing. I use it as a blanket. I use it as a wrap. I use it as my beach towel. Like I literally use this thing for literally everything. It's the three yard wrap. I can't say enough good things. It's 
cashmere not like true cashmere but it's like a form of cashmere so it's super soft and works for literally everything so i'm gonna try to bring that as well i might just have to wear that but i'm gonna pack off camera because it stresses me out to pack on camera so come back to you when this is all ready got my bag packed the only thing that i can't fit in here is this straw bag with my little blue salt wrap i'm gonna have to wear it and then just shove this and hope for the best and then this is like something random about me but i always keep like all of my chargers and like purse essentials i guess in this pauline dust bag whenever i have a tote just so i can like i don't know easily access stuff so yeah that's everything she's shopping all day she's showing us what she got while we sat down at dinner we're at that little pizza place right by our house il piazziolo and they have amazing pizza we thought jules would like it here it's really cheap and easy but anyways um jules shows me this purse she shows me a wallet she shows me coasters she shows me spices and this bottle of wine and then look at this she just pulls out like only jules would give pink <laughs> gloves <laughs> And did you know that your glove size is about the same size as your shoes? I didn't even know that gloves had sizes, Jules. Now you know. Try them on, show us. They match my pink coat that Mackenzie borrowed. In. The pink plastic coat? No, not that one. The, the one that you borrowed. Yes. The leather one. It's still so plastic. Well. Hold on, I need to do this one. <laughs> they're tight because they're new ones. You got me new ones from the back. Chic. How much were these? 25. And how much was your bag? 20? 20. And how much was your wallet? 10. And your coasters were 5 each? Yep. How much was this bottle of wine? 10. For organic wine that's like not heard of in the States. Beautiful. Your hand looks like it's gigantic on the screen. It looks gigantic on the screen. It kind of looks like little hot dogs. Hot dogs? <laughs> that's it. <laughs> Does it look like that? Is this gonna be the same vlog as us um, karaoke? Yep. Oh, how great was that, guys? <laughs> It's first time having burrata tonight. I love it. I had it in Paris and it was amazing. And then her and I are splitting a buff what we think is a buffalo mozzarella pizza. They've like brought us three different pizzas and we don't really know what this is, but it's, it should be good. Their pizza's great. Right now we were brought a an extra pizza. Jules really wanted pizza and pasta, so maybe she manifested this one. Oh, we're home from dinner and I just took a shower and like washed my face, shaved, self tanned. That's like my ritual before we travel. And I changed into my go-to leggings and little tank top. And then I'm gonna wear this button up over top for a little adventure to the airport. Oh, to the train station To the first. train station, then to the airport. We have a long night ahead of us. And it's gonna be an all night. I okay. think we're gonna vlog it, right? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know about that. So anyway, so how was your, what would you rate your experience? I Wait, we didn't rate last night. Oh, last night, 10 out of 10. Like, as much as... 10 out of 10 out atmosphere, my yes. food, I would give a 6. My food was good, but the portion was so small. So, like, definitely get, like, shared table vibes. Uh, like, get more meals because we did not eat enough. Clearly it was why we got it was so drunk. <laughs> it was expensive, too. It was very expensive. But the atmosphere is, like, for the... The atmosphere was amazing. You know what? Maybe I would say to go there for coffee, because I noticed today I walked, yeah. I walked in again. Like, go there for a coffee breakfast situation, like, small bites, and, and you can enjoy the atmosphere, because dinner was just very hefty price. For, for very, that. very mini. Yeah, yeah, portion. like tiny. Portion. But anyways, okay, so tonight. But I still loved it. Tonight, I, I should have gotten the pizza. I should have known better. I got the pasta, and it was like not too like it was good, but it wasn't nothing my favorite. Special. Yeah, nothing wow. special. I should have known better though. The they sent over a pizza to me accidentally, and I should have just eaten it because. <laughs> yeah, their pizza is really great. Sign. Um. They were very busy tonight, but I just really like their, I think their food's great. $8 for a pizza, literally can't go wrong. So, good vibes all around. I'm going to give my pizza and meal probably an 8 tonight. It was good, but they forgot to give us buffalo mozzarella, so points off for that. Anyways, okay, I'm going to end this vlog off. Hope that you guys enjoyed seeing Jules in Florence. Did you have the best time ever, Jules? I love it here. I was shocked. I didn't think... I came for Mackenzie, but I actually love it here. <laughs> so, hopefully you'll see her again soon. Well, 
hopefully you'll see her in Florence soon, but you will see her in tomorrow's video, which is going to be my Mykonos vlog. So stay tuned. Bye, Lauren.